Hey guys, we're here at the shoot for Leave It at the Cross, the music video, and I want to introduce you to somebody really special to me. This is Sydney Simons, and she choreographed the dance that you'll be seeing, and it's just been such a beautiful spiritual experience. We've been working on it for about six months. She's been so patient with me. <laughs> no, she's crushed it, and you will see that she has completely crushed it. Sydney's so just a beautiful worshiper. She's just an incredible worship leader with her voice, with her body, and I just think that worship, it's, I mean, we have our instrument of praise, which is our whole body, and there's a beautiful quote I love that says, you know, when you do that, when you fully express yourself with your entire body, that what's internal becomes visible, and it's just such a beautiful way to express a song. I, have, I haven't danced in years, so thank you for... You would never know. <laughs> you would never know. Sydney and I actually met years ago, probably 12 or 13 years ago. Uh, her dad, Danny Chambers, is the pastor of a church that changed my life, and he started calling the worship leader out of me. I never really led worship until going to Oasis, and man, it just completely changed my relationship with God, mm -hmm. and I got to lead worship with Sydney, which was always just such a delight. She was just so, so full oh of joy. Gosh. I was always like, Jim? <laughs> yeah, so I started dancing also at Oasis when I was five or six, and getting to grow up dancing, not just dancing, but dancing in church, it really, like, it just made sense to me that they go together. Like, well, God gave me this body, and he gave me this gift, so yeah, this is just another way to, like, give it back to him and, like, use every part of what he's given to me to glorify him and to honor him, and so I'm very thankful for that, and, like, that that's my background and my understanding. Um, and then the Lord opened up some really cool opportunities to dance and to travel and to work with different artists. Um, but this is my first time choreographing a music video. So it's been like such an honor and also like, oh my God. <laughs> like, like you did an amazing so, job. Oh, thank you. And you made me feel just so comfortable in my own skin, which I mean, again, after not dancing for so many years, it was just so wonderful to come into a peaceful, encouraging environment. And for you to come all the way to Los Angeles and be part of the shoot. She's been behind cameras today. She's been working on lighting. She's also, you know, I love her craft. So it's been a really, really fun experience. As soon as I felt like God put this calling on my heart to dance in this video, it was you immediately in my mind. It was Call Sydney. And so what kind of stirred in your heart to do it? Or what did you think the first time you heard the song? Or maybe just talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Okay. So Jen sent me this song, um, man, like three months after my dad passed. And woo, it really resonated with me because that's, that's where I had to go was the cross. And like, man, Lord, there's so much that I don't understand right now, but I trust you. And if you are the same God that parted the sea, and the same God that raised Lazarus, but grieved first, like, you're here with me, and you are the same God that was there in my first dance class, and that stood next to me at my father's funeral. And so, like, I know I was carrying a lot in that time of just, like, grief and being a new mom and like oh my gosh I've been married for two years and there's so much that has happened and it just was this invitation to Jesus so you sent the you sent the email and it was very much like hey I don't know if you if this is even like okay to ask you right now but I prayed about it and before I even listened to the song so when I listened, I already had a yes in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I just like laid on the floor in my room and sobbed. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, like the bridge, the it's too heavy. Um, I was that was my heart cry. And I was like, Lord, this is <laughs> this is you and me right now. <laughs> like, this is my cry, and this is also like, this is what you're saying to me, like it's too heavy. And I'm saying it's too heavy, and you're saying it's too heavy. And so it was this in, like beautiful invitation to actually experience the song and then like have the, the creativity, what I, I believe it was totally from him. Um, Cause every time before we practice, I was like, Lord, I have no idea what we're about to do. <laughs> and, like, 
And so just really praying over each each rehearsal and each part of the creative process. Um, yeah, it's, so I really feel like it's the anointing is all over the song already, and I experienced it. And so to be able to just like be part of that and help enhance the experience um, to now have the visual to the the lyrics and the vocals that are just like so killer. Oh my gosh, the like when you go there. <laughs> I'm just so so grateful that you're a part of this project. Just love you, friend. I love you so much. Literally, such an honor.